guys, it is Bianca with The Culture Project and we are out here today at the March for Life, joined by thousands of others today to defend and proclaim the dignity of the human person. So we want to go out and we want to encounter these people. Who are they and why are they here today? All right, hi guys, I'm here with my new friend Carissa and please tell me the story behind your sign, just why you're here and why do you march today? Yeah, so um, the story behind my sign is that my birth mom was uh, raped, so I was conceived in rape. And so often the excuse that you sometimes hear is, well, in the case of rape, it's okay to abort the baby, which I obviously don't agree with. So it's just here to be a voice kind of to people who never get that voice at all. And just to say, hey, even in the circumstance you think is okay, or even in one that is so, so hard and so hard to explain, like, there's still hope and there's still someone who's willing to fight for you. Yeah. So beautiful. And I know that the pro-life movement, or even being pro-life, it can be kind of like a polarizing topic today. So like yeah. you're really putting like your your reputation, you know, you're yeah. so, so like tell me like, like your deeper, like what is your deep why? Like why are you willing to put that all aside and like why are you willing to be here? You touched on it, but I just like want to just keep, you know. Yeah. I mean, for me, like somebody did something or somebody said something that made my birth mom change her mind. So if just me being here or me like holding a sign and someone reading it can help change someone else's mind and just be that little thing that made them be like, took a second, like thought about it and be like, no, that's not okay. Like that's all worth it for me. That's so beautiful. And my last question for you is, if you could give a woman in, in a pregnancy crisis any sort of words of encouragement or anyone who's, who's there and like a reason why to be pro-life, like what would you say? Like what are your words of encouragement and why would you want to tell them that they should be pro-life? Yeah, um, it's definitely a really hard situation you're going to find yourself in. And it is going to be like a crazy challenging nine months probably. But at the end of those nine months, you can have a life beside you. Or you can give a life away to someone else who is just there ready to nurture it. And there are more people willing to help you in every single step than you are aware of. And more people willing to step in. Hi, guys. I'm here with my new friend, Jessica. And Jessica, can you just tell me a little bit more about your story, the story behind this, and, and why you're here today? And why do you march? Absolutely. So I had my son when I was 17 years old, got pregnant with him when I was 16. I was a junior in high school and um, thought the world, you know, was going to end basically because as a 16 year old pregnant, you think this is it. Um, and it wasn't. It was just the beginning for me. And it felt like it was like crossroads for me. God was giving me, you know, the choice. What am I going to do? And I can honestly st say that I stand here today knowing that I 110% made the right decision that day. Um, God has just blessed me beyond means uh, with my son. And uh, I did it. I was a single mom. And um, I went to college with him right after. Graduated high school early with my son. And uh, he was there with me at college for four years. We graduated together. And then when uh, my son was about nine years old, I met my husband that I have today. My husband adopted my son, so we're a family. And, uh, you know, we're just so blessed. And I know that uh, my son actually brought me and my husband together. I met him at a barber shop out of all places. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you never know how God's going to work. But I know that everything I have today is because of God. And it's, it's um, the strength that he has given to me to raise my son in a certain way and to wait on his timing, not our timing, but his timing to meet the love of my life, my husband, to have him treat my son as his own child and, you know, welcoming him and welcoming, welcoming him into the family. And it just was very organic and natural. And um, it was the best. And I'm, I'm just very thankful for it and all the blessings he's given to us. And my son's now in college. Yes. Oh my gosh. And if you could give any sort of woman that might be in the same situation as you any sort of words of encouragement or, or something that helped you where you're there, what would you tell them? I would tell them first and foremost, pray. And that little voice that's in the back of your head when the man may be telling you, the boyfriend or whoever, or parents or whoever, friends may be telling you, oh, it's not that time. Just go get an abortion. Go do this. Do not listen to that voice. I'm telling you right now, do not listen to that voice. Listen to the voice in the back where it, you feel like, uh, I should do this, but you know what? I really know I shouldn't. You shouldn't because God doesn't want you to. Every life is planned in his book. He knows your life from beginning to end and every choice you're going to make. Make the right choice. Make the choice of life because one day if you do make the wrong choice and you do abort, Trust me, there's a lot of friends, including best friends I had at the time I got pregnant, and they chose the other option 
and their lives are very different from mine and I'm very happy uh, with my life. Hi guys, I'm here with my new friend India. She's from sunny Florida, made it all the way up here to DC and she's got a beautiful sign. So India, can you please just tell me about your sign and why you're here today? Yes, yeah, so I'm here today to stand for life, to you know, defend the unborn, the voiceless, but also women who aren't going through whatever, women in crisis that are told that they have to kill their babies in order to you know, live their dream or go to school or have their jobs or whatever. And it's a complete lie. And you know, when, when we all have times in our lives that may be low and during that time we're sensitive. And so if you have only you know, specific people that really truly believe, in, don't believe in life and they're telling you that to get an abortion to do better, and you don't have positive voices anywhere else, you know, it, it's very easy to to fall into that. And what I don't like is that they, they're they not truthful. All of those messages are completely inaccurate and abortion does hurt women. And I believe in loving them both, loving, you know, our children are precious, but but so are people. It's it's our human right, you know? And um, that's, what, that's what inspired my sign. Um, Pro-life is pro-woman, you know, you you're, you're, you raise women up and you let them know that they are capable, they are worthy, and they can do whatever they put their mind to. And there are so many pro-life organizations that help women who, maybe financially, um, if that's typically the, the biggest, you know, reason, um, support. Um, I personally uh, donate and work with a couple of them, like Human Defense Initiative and Let Them Live Organization, um, who create these registries for women who are in need, and we make it happen. You know, you you, you help them with their bills, whatever they need. Um, this hat is actually Culture of Life, so it's a clothing brand that. <laughs> it's okay. It's a clo it's a clothing brand um, that represents life and. Um, <laughs> And they actually give back also to uh, different pro-life organizations. But yeah, pro-life is pro-woman. It's about both and really um, helping women realize their power and that they are worthy. And so are these babies, every single one of them, you know. It, it, gosh, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> that, was, that was beautiful, India. Thank you so much.